Hi, I'm Bob Lampson. I'm the CEO of Mediox, the inventor of the Smart Tray. The Smart Tray is an interactive device that's designed for quick service restaurants and to allow content providers and advertisers to send information that can be individually selected by the user in the restaurant. So instead of an LCD or a plasma screen where everybody is watching the same thing, on the Smart Tray people are able to select what they want and when they want it. They're able to interact with their mobile phone if they want to, put their mobile phone number in and receive information later, or put their email ad address in and receive information later. It's really a whole new channel of information, advertising, and content that can be given to customers at a time in which they're relatively relaxed and sitting, um, not wanting to necessarily do anything that is um, important or that takes their full concentration. So they're in kind of a browsing mode. And then when they're browsing, it's like an electronic magazine or an electronic cereal box. They use the smart tray to catch up on the news, to watch ads, to find what movies are playing nearby, and many other things. So the video that you're going to see is not very good quality, but it gives you an idea of the tray in action in various restaurants. Hope you enjoy it. Two, two single deluxe, fry, largely chocolate shake. Thank you. So, as I get the tray, the unit goes on automatically, and I now take it over to the, uh, where I'm sitting. And already, the, uh, uh, the tray is on, and I'm already interested or curious about what's going on. And before I even have my hamburger, I push to see uh, what I can do. Now, I'll sit down and Hello, I'm Bob Lamson. I'm the CEO of Mediox, and we're the company that has developed the Smart Tray, which is here in front of you. And it's uh, designed specifically for restaurants. It's waterproof, it's uh, shockproof, so it can be dropped, and it has embedded in it a display system and information system that's very similar to a mobile phone or to a, a PDA. It's operated simply by using uh, very simple common directional buttons as you would find let's say on a mobile phone and you get a choice of all kinds of content. It can be news, it can be uh, movies, it can be sports, it can be weather, it can be games, it can even be cartoons for the kids. Now when you're done, you just take the tray over. Throw the stuff away and then put it on the docking station, which then recharges the tray, updates the information, and it's ready to go for the next user. Hi, my name is Alex Zravarenkov, and I am a founder and president of uh, Mediox. What we're going to do today is we're going to test drive this technology at Burger King. Uh, that's uh, the intent of our visit here today. So please enjoy. The fast food restaurants uh, market is uh, enormous. There are more than uh, 240,000 uh, restaurants, fast food restaurants in North America alone. And more than 30 million people visit USRs every day. So the market potential for that technology is huge. About 40% uh, of those customers, they dine in, and quite a, a bit of them use uh, trays. Um, so to capture the eyeballs of those customers for about half an hour, we have developed this product, uh, which uh, enables them to uh, browse through the menu of uh, various selections designed by the restaurants, the restaurant chains. You would be able to perform surveys using that particular tray and get to know the customer better you would be able to understand their browsing patterns. Uh, they would be able to go and uh, um, see the menu. Uh, and for Burger King, that will be uh, Zinequanon uh, to um, expose customers to uh, uh, new products that they're offering and new deals. And potentially, in the future, you would be able to sell through this trade. Uh, 
following the burst sale model. So shock resistant, water resistant, Let me just see. resilient to uh, all kinds of stress. So let me put it uh, in the garbage. Just like that. As you can see, it stands up very effectively. That's really cool. It tells you a little bit more. It tells about you more about the story, yeah. King Deals. <laughs> And it'll be the, it'll the menu. Be the, what kind of things would be good on this? Do you think? Go ahead and tell him. See what you think. I think it should be good if there was a men the menu of Burger King. Like there is. If you wanted to know what they have, you there could, is. You could do that. Like Burger you, you King. You can click on Burger King. That's a good the idea. The menu, and then it would show every single food, all the drinks, and all the food, and right. everything you could get. Wait, isn't that already on? And then it would show the cost of it. Show the cost too. And then you would know. Yep. See, Paris, it's already on here. You just click menu. Uh, okay, well, I think that you should, like, because a lot of the games on there are kind of like more adult games, like chess and checkers. So maybe you could, like, put on some learning or kid games. Oh, uh, learning games. That's a good idea. That would be a good idea. And, 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 and kid games, yeah. yeah. What if you what if what if you came in and you got like a, a, a meal that had a toy in it or something you know that, that like kids like sometimes oh, yeah. and then you could have a little film that showed the toy you just got on this would that be a good idea? Oh yeah, yeah. It, maybe it could like one time it would it show you like the the next toy that's coming up. And then it ah, could also show good idea. And it could next also, toy that's coming up. And it could also show you like how the toy works. Yeah. How the toy works. What do you think about uh, the uh, trade and awesome. the uh, idea? I give it a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a, a hundred. <laughs> I give it a thousand. If I were judged. Yeah, that is really cool. So if, 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 if it was offered in Burger King and it was not offered in uh, McDonald's, <laughs> would you go to Burger King or McDonald's? Would it affect your decision? Burger King. All right. <laughs> yeah, but you could do it at the old too. Yeah. Like on the plates. Really? Yeah, on the plates, yeah. We could take it over there too. We're gonna we're gonna try to go to a lot of restaurants. Thank you very much. Thank you, you guys. Okay, that's one. And venting on that latte. Thank you very much. Now in case I accidentally sprinkle spill some chocolate sprinkles in, you notice there's no problem with the tray. Yes, of course. Since the tray is wireless, of course, you can go anywhere you want to with it. Potentially, you could even deploy uh, a headset with it and let people use Skype or something like that. Yeah, you could. And listen to their favorite iTunes right off the tray. There's uh, same same uh, application here as it would be in any restaurant. You can help advertise uh, the different coffees here, so people, while they're having coffee, could look and see if there's a new coffee, uh, maybe a new drink, maybe a new uh, sandwich, a new salad, uh, whatever. Uh, and then at the same time, they could uh, uh, watch movie trailers, watch the news, get the weather, uh, play some games, some simple games, maybe add for games. Their prize would be, uh, it would be a Starbucks game, specifically designed uh, for them. Uh, anything like this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, great to be in McDonald's. Whoa! Got some new study on dinosaurs. You can go to uh, CNN Science News. That would be quite interesting as well. Let's go back and uh, take a look at what we might be uh, interested in. We'd be interested in weather, so uh, natural local weather would be most interesting to me. So no storm warming, uh, warnings, uh, they've got uh, pretty good temperature, down to 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Baseball, hockey, basketball, all the regular stuff. Oh, I love this stuff. And would you go to any other restaurant if uh, you had this here? I will never forgive myself for throwing this fries out, but I've been eating so many of them tonight. 
So that includes a road trip to uh, McDonald's. Thank you.